The hitback strategy is a concept I saw first used by Billy Donovan at the University of Florida. After the pick and roll switch, the guard throws the ball ahead and then backs up the court where when he receives the ball from a teammate, he's now attacking with a full head of steam downhill at the mismatch. This next concept is something I took from Steve Kerr when in an interview we talked about again switching how they, the Warriors don't want to just pound away at the dribble and they want to keep moving the ball with the belief that everything will come out in the wash. An important part of this concept is finding different and unique ways to attack that big that's now switched on to a perimeter player. Perhaps he's been working all week in practice on keeping the dribble in front after switching onto the pick and roll and keeping the ball handle in front of him, but how much has he worked on maybe guarding that guy off ball and then plugging on a drive and then recovering to get out to that guy on a shot? An old Rick Majerus concept on an off-ball screen, if you know they're going to switch, rather than screening the, the cutter's defender, screen your own man who is going to try to switch onto the cutter. The Warriors do this unbelievably well. Greg Popovich's favorite way to attack a team that's switching one through four is to have a one-four pick and roll followed by a the five man sprinting up to set another ball screen for the one. How much work does that team's four and five have on negotiating a middle pick and roll together? Here they get the one-four switch. Now DeAndre Jordan sprints in, and now that's Portland's 4-5 and five man defending a 1-5 pick and roll. An NBA concept. Here you bring the player who's being guarded by the opponent's weakest defender into a pick and roll so he switches on to your best player. It also helps if you have LeBron James. This concept is used by the Celtics and the Warriors. Essentially, they're getting three players in a line on one side of the floor and just moving around them and trying to distort teams' communication and their switching. The thinking is that if you get enough movement in a tightly confined area, one of those switches is going to screw up. Something Jeff Van Gundy is constantly referencing is that if a team is going to switch their smalls onto your bigs, you need to take advantage of them on the offensive glass. You need to punish those guards as they switch onto your bigs.